Barakta Yahawa, Barakta Yahushai, Barakta Yahawa, Barakta Yahushai, Barakta Yahawa, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Krakadash, dub honors and salutations to the elders and apostles of Great Mister who rule well, and to the Hakim Akwath, trying the four corners of the earth, holding on to the testimony of the Lord, the Mashiach Yahushai, sincerity and truth and diligence of mind. This is Brother Menashe DC Camp, short lesson for the hopeful elect. Yep, so uh, we already uh, know <clears throat> about the uh, experiences that the prophets had to uh, go through, all right? The experiences the Lord had to subject them to, to understand the mindset of our people the Israelites, all right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans spread out through the, throughout the four corners of the earth, all right. So uh, the Lord always uh, gave uh, the prophets, right, his servants, insight as per the state of mind our people are in, okay. And uh, you just see how the Lord separates his prophets. You know, he isolates them to give them a, a, a better opportunity to see the craziness of our nation, to see the judgment coming upon our nation, and, uh, you know, to uh, take notes, all right? So I read from the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 33. I'm just going to stick with the first three verses. It says, uh, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah, the second time, while he was yet shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the maker thereof, the Lord that formed it to establish it, the Lord is his name. Right? The Lord is his name. Right? It says in the verse 3, that's the main point, Call unto me, and I will answer thee. And shew thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. So that's an open invitation from the Lord to his servants, the prophets, to come get this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to learn the secret things of the Most High. All right. And uh, that wisdom of the Lord is so vast that uh, we, we can barely scratch the surface of it. Okay. And the Lord has given his servants, the prophets, an opportunity to understand the mysteries of the kingdom, to understand the mysteries of this world, to understand the mysteries of why our people are having a difficult time holding on to the words of this life, right? The words of, uh, of mercy, the words of uh, salvation, okay? And uh, what the Lord shows is... Uh, Something we also have to uh, be aware of about the mindset of the heathen, the, the other nations, right? The Hamites, the Moabites, the Edomites, the Ishmaelites, children of Japheth, and all that, you know, helps you to understand the uh, the way they think, the way they operate, and uh, the, it just makes it easier for us to preach the gospel. It makes it easier for us to prepare our lesson, all right? And that's a, a good uh, precept, you know, to stick with. So um, I'm going to get a precept real quick. It's going to be um, from the book of James, chapter 1. All right, James, chapter 1. I just had to look that up. James chapter 1 and verse 5. So it says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh. All right? So that's uh, Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. That give it to all men, all right? Not just all men, but to his servants, the prophets, liberally, and upbraid it not, and it shall be given him. Okay, so that's um, the reason why this uh, precepts helps a lot, man. It helps to keep your mind stable. It gives you the understanding you need 
to uh, to teach. All right. When the scripture says, you know, servants of the Lord must be apt to teach, it's not just uh, because of a personal reason. It's because of the spirit of the Lord that dwelleth within that uh, prophet. Okay. So that's the blessing we have to uh, always um, strive for. When you talk about masteries of the gospel, it's about mastery of the spirit within you, you know, because it's the spirit that gives you the gospel, all right? So you need to uh, learn how to be in tune. You know, that's why it says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of your heart by Shem HaShah, by Shem HaKadash, that give it to all men liberally and upbraid it not, and it shall be given him. So that's what we need uh you know, these are words of encouragement for me because there are so many, you know, secrets of the Lord that you can only dwell on one topic at a time for you to uh, to build up your, your faith, okay? That's what it's all about, to build up your faith because your faith is a vehicle that you use, you know, to, uh, to keep you motivated on... Uh, what uh, the message is that the Lord has set before you and what you need to uh, let the people know. All right? You can't make the people understand. The Lord is the only one that can make them understand. Your job is to speak <laughs> speak the words of the Lord into the ears of the people. And Yahweh always said, He that had an ear, let him hear. Okay, And that's uh, a good uh, you know, synopsis of uh, this lesson. And I'll go to uh, the book of uh, Exodus chapter 19. And then look at verse 9. Actually, uh, let's see. Yep. Exodus chapter 19 verse 9. So it tells you, And the Lord said, unto Moses, Lo, I come unto thee in a thick cloud, and the people, right, that the, that the people may hear when I speak with thee, and believe thee forever. And Moses told the words of the people unto the Lord. Hmm. And that's exactly, you know, what, uh, you know, we look forward to uh, experiencing, you know, being uh, able to hear from the Lord and, uh, you know, having that special moment. You know, that's exactly what the Lord wants us uh, to be uh, focused on, to be able to be that uh, conduit. And that's the job of the servants of the Lord, or right, the prophets, okay, to be able to hear from the Lord and deliver the message to the people. And when you see brothers putting up lessons day and night, going out there on the highways and byways, whatever time they have available, those are words of uh, of prophecy that had to uh, be fulfilled. So it's excellent, man. It's excellent when you see the Lord take brothers out of uh, a situation they're in and uses them for his perfect purpose, all right? his purpose of righteousness. So that's exactly what uh, brothers need to uh, prepare themselves for, man. Because you never know when the Lord is going to pull you aside and uh, put you in that uh, hot seat <laughs> to get that hot knowledge, you know, that hot wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, basically preferring you, you know, for, for you to get elevated, you have to be humbled, you know. So once you go through that humbling process, then uh, the Lord will boost you with uh, those uh, privileges of being in His presence, all right? So that's one thing you have to be excited about, man. You know, the mysteries of uh, of the kingdom, all right? Because the Lord could pull you, pull you into a deep trance. He could pull you, you know, in the middle of a dream during the night. Then He shows you <laughs> things to come, all right? So the book of Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29, it says, uh, The secret things belong unto the Lord our power, 
But those things which are revealed belong unto us. So how do they get revealed? The Lord has to have a situation happen where his servants, the prophets, you know, are, uh, are enlightened. You know, they're given that uh, opportunity to uh, get the knowledge, okay? And then he passes it on to the people and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law. And that's it, you know, that's exactly what our motive is as Israelites, you know, to hear the word of the Lord, to keep it, and to pass it on to our children, okay? So, uh, you know, we should just be glad that the Lord gave us an opportunity to hear directly, you know, through his prophet, exactly what uh, he expects of us, okay? So, uh, it's a good thing. So, go to the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 13, and then you look at, um, let's see, Four to thirty-six. So this concerning the parable <coughs> of um, the mustard seed. All right. So it's it's a good uh, parable to uh, meditate on. Okay. So when you start to read from. Uh, Verse 34 says, All these things speak Yahweh unto the multitude in parables, and without a parable speak he not unto them. Why? Because they weren't uh, ready, and uh, they weren't of uh, the, the highest sake, man. They weren't his, uh, his, uh, major <laughs> his major concern. At that point in time, okay, and then uh, it says in verse uh, thirty-five that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, "I will open my mouth in parables; I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world." Then Yahweh sent the multitude away, and went into the house. And his disciples came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field. All right. So they wanted to know about uh, the parable of the wheat and the tares. Okay. And uh, it's, it's beautiful, man. You know, to have that mind that needs this knowledge. So when you're shy, you know, how to uh, make them know, then they understood exactly what the ministry was all about. You know, you're getting exposed to parables, and, uh, you know, you're applying the wisdom that is made available to you. So you're basically uh, getting... Uh, you, you, you're getting an experience, all right? You're, you're building up uh, your mind, okay? The, the capacity of your mind to uh, to handle the, the, the scriptures, you know, with uh, perfection, all right? So that's the reason why these, uh, these scriptures are very, very necessary, you know, to keep you motivated at all times because we have no other motivation in this world you know, to hold on to, you know, towards the end, besides the scriptures, all right? So the book of uh, Luke chapter 24, and uh, we look at uh, from verse 44 to 45, And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you. that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Yeah, so this is Yahweh Shai, you know, making it known 
to his servants the prophet that uh, he's just there to, you know, to fulfill prophecy. Then verse 45 says this. This is exactly what Yahweh Shai did. Then opened he their understanding that he might slack it. Luke 24 verse 45. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. So that's how Yahweh Shai operates, man. You know, he has to open up the minds of his servants, the prophets, for them to get the understanding, you know. So he is that guy, he is that uh, <laughs> distributor, you know, to give out the knowledge to those that need it and deserve it, all right? Because uh, the, just like the book of Sirach talks about uh, wisdom will not enter into a malicious soul. So just imagine, you know, when you have uh, special access to uh to the body of knowledge that Yahweh Shai is uh is giving out, you know. You don't have to pay a monthly subscription fee. <laughs> All you gotta do is just show up on your best behavior and uh, that's it, you know. That's it, you know. Love the Lord thy power with all thy heart, mind, soul and strength. Love thy neighbor as thyself. You know, show love to the brotherhood. You know, show love to the ministry. You know, don't uh, cut corners when it comes to uh, handling the affairs of the ministry. You know, you have to accept the challenges. You have to accept uh, the 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 you know the the, re the requirements. Okay, so uh, just to uh, wrap this up in a few. You get from the book of Mark, <coughs> book of Mark, chapter four, uh, from verse nine to verse eleven. So this way, how shall I said, and he said unto them, He that had ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was done, they that were about him, with the twelve, asked of him that parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of Yahweh, but to them that are without, all these things are done in parable. All right. So that's how the Lord operates. You know, He wants uh, only a few to get the perfect understanding of this ministry. You know, because. Uh, it's a small circle, man. The men out there in the highways and byways, it's a small circle, okay? It's a small circle compared to the population of our nation of Israelites, right? The so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, and so-called Native Americans spread out throughout the four corners of the earth. So it's a small body of people that... Uh, interested in this knowledge you know the vast majority of our people are just uh you know hooked up on uh on liturgy you know they're hooked up on the cares of uh of this world you know you're getting bogged down by uh by uh, sentiments and emotions okay so um final precept would be from the book of uh, Colossians. Yeah, Colossians chapter 1, and then go to verse 26. It says, even the mystery, all right? You know, some of verse 25, whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of Yahweh. In other words, he's a prophet. <laughs> a minister. A minister of the Lord is a prophet, all right? According to to the dispensation of your hour. So wherever the Lord has set in motion to be revealed, the minister has to make it, make it known, which is given to me for you, I will, to fulfill the word of your hour. So the Lord gives the wisdom to the prophets and he passes it on to the people. Even the mystery which had been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, just like Yahweh Shai mentioned 
it is given to his saints all right this is given to those that are of his uh, inner circle so that's exactly what uh, this gospel is all about the folk that would benefit the most from uh, this gospel being preached are those that are within the inner circle the inner sanctuary of the Lord Amashiach Yahushai so that's the point that I can have a ratazer, you know you've been edified and uh, from time to time you know the, the mysteries of the law will be made known to you you know whenever you're reading the scriptures whenever you're meditating upon the scriptures always remember man that mystery of the Lord is everlasting and uh, just imagine you know you just get a new revelation while you're driving while you're pumping gas while you're busy uh, cleaning up in the house working on the plantation you know the Lord is uh, it's very, 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 very <laughs> unpredictable. You just drop that knowledge on you, and then your life is changed forever. So, Tawada Yaba Shema Shaba Shema and uh, you know, double shalom to the elders and apostles of Group Miston, and to the Akim Trial of Falcons of Earth. Shalom, shalom, shalom.